The Mbuti Pygmies are one of the indigenous hunter-gatherer peoples of the Congo Basin, primarily inhabiting the Aturi Forest in the Northeastern Democratic Republic of the Congo. Mbuti people are best known for their short stature, a defining feature of Central African pygmy populations. Adult males average about 1.37 meters, 4 feet 6 inches, while females are slightly shorter. This reduced height is thought to be an evolutionary adaptation to tropical rainforest conditions, aiding thermoregulation, mobility through dense vegetation, and perhaps linked to diet and energy efficiency. Historically, the beauty lived in egalitarian bands without centralized authority, relying on communal decision-making and cooperation. However, their autonomy has been repeatedly challenged. With the rise of Bantu-speaking agricultural societies surrounding the forest, the beauty became economically dependent on these farmers through systems of trade and sometimes exploitative patron-client relationships. During the Belgian colonial era, the Aturi forest was heavily impacted by colonial resource extraction. The beauty suffered from enslavement, displacement, and the imposition of taxes and forest regulations that restricted their mobility. The beauty traditionally live as nomadic foragers, depending on the rainforest for most of their food. Their diet consists largely of wild yams, fruits, nuts, honey, mushrooms, and game such as antelope, monkeys, and wild pigs. Hunting is typically done using nets, bows and arrows, or spears, and women play a major role in gathering and setting hunting nets. They also trade forest products such as meat and honey for staple crops with neighboring Bantu farmers. Their diet is low in carbohydrates but rich in protein and fiber, with a strong seasonal rhythm tied to the forest's fruiting and game cycles. Honey in particular, holds great cultural and nutritional importance. For this video, I've gathered the raw genomes of 15 beauty pygmies from the Congo. I used academics tools such as AdmixTools 1 and 2, which are developed by Harvard, but also amateur tools such as the Trait Predictor and Mageplot, both developed by me. Consult this FST chart computed with AdmixTools 2. According to this chart, the population that most closely resembles the beauty pygmies is the Bayaka pygmies. However, an FST of 0.07 is not an indicator of close relation. This is higher than the distance between Europeans and South Asians. Even the closest population to the beauty pygmies, the Bayaka pygmies, are not particularly close to them at all. After the Bayaka pygmies come the South African Bantus, West Africans, and then the South African hunter-gatherers. The closest Eurasians to the beauty pygmies are the Lebanese, with the Europeans being significantly more distant, East Asians being even more distant, Native Americans being even more distant, and the Denisovans being the most distant. Consult this archaic admixture chart created with AdmixTools 1. According to this chart, about 20% of beauty pygmies' ancestry comes from an archaic non-sapien source. In this model, Neanderthals act as a proxy for any archaic non-sapien admixture, because, as you can see, I'm not using any Neanderthal anchors and am instead anchoring archaic humans with gorilla and orangutan. I ran this 2D PCA on sub-Saharan African populations. I used an FST matrix generated by AdmixTools 1 for the construction of this 2D PCA. As you can see, there are two distinct clines that can be observed here. The West African Komani Sandcline, upon which the Komani, Juhon, South African Bantus, and the Bayaka Fall, and the Beauty West African Cline, upon which the Dinka, Mandenka, and the Bayaka Pygmies fall. From this 2D PCA, it follows that the Bayaka pygmies are closer to West Africans genetically than to beauty pygmies. Consult this phylogenetic tree built on the basis of that same FST matrix. With this tree, we see a peculiar picture, the Bayaka pygmies clustering relatively tightly with other sub-Saharan African populations, while the beauty pygmies are not particularly closely related to anyone, but fall in a vaguely South African cluster. What is even more peculiar is that African populations with significant Eurasian ancestry, such as Somalis and Ethiopian Jews, cluster relatively closely with West Africans, and very distant from the vague South African cluster, which includes the Hadza of Tanzania, Beauty of Congo, Komani, and Juhon of South Africa. The Euclidean distance between the Somali cluster and the West African cluster is only about 155, while the Euclidean distance between this major West African slash Somali subcluster and the South African megacluster is a whopping 290. This just goes to show how different West Africans are from South African aboriginals, being more closely related to even Eurasians than South African hunter-gatherers or beauty pygmies. The beauty pygmies themselves are not even particularly closely related to the South African hunter-gatherers, 
sitting at a Euclidean distance of around 215 from their cluster. Let's dive deep into the trait predictor results of those 15 beauty pygmies whose genomes I collected. The most common predicted Y lineages were E1b and B2, both lineages common in African populations. Predicted phenotypes ranged from Congo lid to nilotid to Ethiopid, no other phenotypes were present. Eye colors ranged from medium to dark brown, no sample scored light brown or lighter. Predicted hair colors were uniformly black and predicted skin colors were uniformly dark brown. Predicted hair texture was uniformly kinky and predicted nose shape was uniformly strongly snub. Male pattern baldness scores ranged from the minimum, which is 0.63, to the maximum, which is 1.33, but generally the beauty had a low predisposition to baldness. The beauty scored very high for odds of allergies, and most of them were likely lactose intolerant. The beauty had a strong predisposition to higher empathy based on OXTR genotypes. Beauty had low odds of autism, but very high odds of depression and bipolar type 1. In my trait predictor, the SNPs used for bipolar 1 polygenic score overlap heavily with those used for schizophrenia. Beauty had low odds of atrial fibrillation, very low odds of various cardiovascular risks, however scored high for the levels of LDL cholesterol and low for the levels of good HDL cholesterol. The beauty scored exceptionally high for the odds of type 2 diabetes. This is likely because they are genetically unadapted for high sugar diets, due to being hunter-gatherers. The beauty scored very high for Zyprexa-induced weight gain, but were actually not at all predisposed to obesity aside from medication side effects. Based on their FTO genotypes, every single beauty sample was predicted to have low odds of obesity, which is very exceptional. The beauty were not predisposed to high autoimmune risk based on HLA genotypes, but there was one sample who carried HLA risk variants for multiple sclerosis. The beauty had an exceptionally low predisposition for hemoglobin E disease, with every single sample scoring the lowest possible polygenic risk score for this condition. The beauty were also incredibly protected from Alzheimer's. The beauty had an intermediate predisposition to corneal astigmatism, low predisposition to polycythemia vera based on JRK2 genotypes, and low predisposition to testicular cancer based on KITLG genotypes, going in stark contrast with what are typical for Eurasians. Not a single sample carried any risk variants for hemochromatosis in the HFE gene. Hemochromatosis is often referred to as the Celtic curse due to its prevalence in Northwestern Europe. A couple of samples carried risk variants for blue-yellow colorblindness in the OPN1SW gene, but the rate of these variants in the beauty is significantly lower than in Europeans. The most common blood type among these beauty pygmies is likely O, although the O blood group is less common in them than other sub-Saharan African populations. You can purchase the raw genomes of these 15 beauty pygmies in 23andMe format from the link in description.